What's up, Helix users and HX Stompers? Today, the day is upon us. It's been very long since our last Helix update, but today, in a surprise, I was not expecting it today on a Tuesday of all days to have this update, so um, I had to make a quick one so I can get something out to you guys right away because one of my favorite features in any update is included in this update, and I am very excited about it. If you have been on this channel for any amount of time, you know that I love the Command Center and doing a lot of things out of Command Center. So what this update added to the Command Center is what I'm calling stackable snapshots. So when you are in your Command Center with HX Snapshot, you can have one button take you from snapshot one to snapshot two, snapshot two to three, three to four, up to eight, and then back to one. This is so nice, especially in what I'm gonna focus on and use today on the HX Stomp. So the HX Stomp being that it only has three foot switches, um, if you're using this or using the XL. Real estate is real tight on this. So going into Command Center and setting this up to be one button can go to all three snapshots. It opens up a ton of possibilities for the other remaining foot switches. And even now when you are in the command center on the full helix floor or the LT, you now like almost double the amount of space that you that you have if you're gonna do all of these snapshots with one button. So for example, you could have just one snapshot button and it can do snapshots one through eight, and then you can have the rest of the nine foot switches be whatever you want them to be. So super useful tool, super valuable, and I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up. Okay, first we'll do it in HX Edit. And this is just a King Fullerton preset. This is a free one that I put out a while ago. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna clear out all of my control assignments. Did you know that you could do this? Look at that. And now there's nothing there. That is nice. So now I have a, a fully clean slate. I have nothing assigned. So when you look, you also wanna make sure that your view looks like this. If it doesn't look like this, you need to page over. So you have your preset up and down you have your preset view, then you have your snapshot view. We don't want the snapshot view. I, even though we're dealing with snapshots, we wanna to go to the pedal board view with these three blank canvases. And on these three blank canvases, we are going to put on whatever we want. So in HX Edit, we're gonna go Window, Command Center. And now you have your three foot switches here and your optional two foot switches here. If you have an external two button foot switch, you can do whatever you want with those as well. So what I'm gonna do here, you see here where it says snapshot one and snapshot two and three. Previously, these kind of just did nothing um, for at least at least what I did, and I've never been able to, to use this portion of the menu. So now when you're on snapshot one and you assign this to HX snapshot, we want press release and we want this to take us to snapshot two. So this menu, this up here, means when you're looking at snapshot one, that's what this button will do. So this snapshot one means that you are in snapshot one looking at this floorboard. That's why you wanna set this to take you to snapshot two. So when I press snapshot two, it takes me to snapshot two. And now that I'm on snapshot two, I wanna change this to snapshot three. So again, I'm viewing this from snapshot two and I want it to take me to snapshot three. So now I press the same button again and it takes you to snapshot three. Now, again, I am viewing this from snapshot three and I wanna make this take me to snapshot one. And now I press it and it takes me to snapshot one. So now when I'm in snapshot one, you'll see a two here because that again is where it's going to take me. So it's gonna take me to two. And you can look in the top right corner, top right, yeah. You can look in the top right corner of the HX edit box, of the, uh, of the box up here, and it'll tell you the current snapshot that you're on. And you'll see me toggling from one, two to three and back to one. And you can now open up the possibilities of these two foot switches to be whatever you want. You can do uh, multiple bypass assignments or even just one or two things. And it opens up in another huge, huge, huge number of possibilities when it comes to the HX Stomp and the Helix 2. So now I'm gonna very crudely show you how to do this with my phone because I wanna get this up and posted right away. So, so I just cleared out all the foot switch assignments. Again, make sure that you see the three foot switches here. If you don't, then you wanna page over until you get there. 
or if your view shows the preset, then you want to hit the view button. So this is your this is your rig view. When you hit view, it takes you to these. Make sure you page over until you are in the blank foot switches. Then you're going to double tap these. So well, by double tap, I mean press these two at the same time. And now here you have command center when you press this encoder. And here are your foot switches again. So you're going to navigate using this top encoder. Navigate your way to foot switch one, which is this one. And just like we did before, we want to make this HX snapshot. Press and release, yes. And we want to take this to snapshot two. Again, because currently we are in snapshot one. As you can see up there, that means we're in snapshot one. Now when we press this button, it'll take us to snapshot two. And you'll see up there, it says we are in snapshot two. So now I want to go back to command center and change that one from next to, see how right now it says next, that's the default. So I want to change this now to snapshot three. And then when I press it, it'll take me to snapshot three. And again, that goes to the default, which is next. So again, this is the view from snapshot three. So now I want snapshot three, take me back to one. And now you could see my toggling is going back and forth, well, back and forth, going from one to three. So now you see this top right corner, you see that one in the snapshot button, change to two, change to three, back to one. And now I have the rest of the foot switches to do with whatever I please. All right, so keep an eye out for a little bit longer video where I'm gonna go through and build a new preset using this stuff as well. Um, this preset, the King Fullerton one's already up there for free, so if you wanna just go and follow along, you could do this with any of your presets, just make sure that you have blank foot switch assignments before you start. And uh, yeah, hope you guys liked the video, ask questions below, and uh, let me know in the comments what your favorite part of the 315 update was.